Remains of 10 men and 6 women have been pulled from the Chicago River and Lake Michigan since the beginning of 2022, with a former FBI agent saying there are too many coincidences and sparking fears of a serial killer. Have you ever thought about what murder mysteries the peaceful waters of the Chicago River and Lake Michigan hold? What if I told you that underneath their serene surface is a frightening mystery, one that's claimed the lives of 16 people since the beginning of 2022? As we negotiate the unsettling details of these sad incidents, we're confronted with the nagging question, are these just accidents, or does an evil power lurk in the shadows, orchestrating a series of strange murders that have left a city terrified and in mourning? Welcome to our investigation of a disturbing chain of events that shook Chicago to its core. The waters of the Chicago River and Lake Michigan have become haunting grounds, yielding the remains of individuals whose disappearances have sparked a chilling fear of a serial killer stalking the city and its suburbs. Since the onset of 2022, a total of 16 bodies, 10 men and 6 women have been retrieved from these waters, sending shockwaves through the community. The disturbing frequency of these discoveries, with five men found in just the last six months, has ignited concerns that these deaths may not be mere accidents, but rather the calculated work of a serial killer preying on unsuspecting victims. Is there truly a sinister force at play, orchestrating these tragedies under the guise of coincidence? Could the calm waters of Chicago conceal a deadly predator? The ominous saga began with the discovery of the first victim, setting off a chain of events that would grip the city in fear and uncertainty. As authorities scrambled to make sense of the inexplicable, the community was left reeling, grappling with the unsettling realization that a predator may be lurking. With each passing day, the death toll mounted, leaving a trail of devastation and despair in its wake. Noah Enos, a 26-year-old restaurant worker, became one of the latest victims in this harrowing saga when his lifeless body was retrieved from the Chicago River on June 17th. His disappearance just five days prior, following a rock concert outing, had left his loved ones grasping for answers. The fact that his body was discovered a mere block away from where he was last seen alive only deepened suspicion surrounding his untimely demise. During a vigil for Noah, his girlfriend, Nicole Weech, shared her hope for no more suspicious deaths following similar patterns. I know Noah wasn't the first one to go missing and be found in the river, and I sure as shit hope that he's the last, she said, holding back tears. Despite the grief and anguish felt by his family and friends, the truth behind Noah's tragic end remains shrouded in uncertainty. As they grapple with their loss, they also confront the looming specter of a potential serial killer lurking in their midst. What events transpired in those five days that led to Noah's demise? Could his death hold the key to unraveling the mystery? Tragedy struck again with the recovery of 46-year-old Richard Garcia from the Chicago River on April 13th, a particularly suspicious incident that's captured the attention of authorities. Found near the Columbus Drive Bridge, Garcia's death has raised numerous questions, adding to the growing list of unresolved mysteries plaguing the city. As law enforcement agencies collaborate in their efforts to unravel the truth behind these drownings, the community remains on edge, grappling with the chilling possibility that a serial killer may be operating within their midst. But what clues will lead them to the perpetrator responsible for this wave of terror? Will the investigation uncover the truth, or will it remain in mystery? The sinister nature of these incidents is further underscored by the unsettling absence of forensic evidence, a hallmark of crimes committed in or around bodies of water. Tracy Walder emphasizes this point, highlighting the effectiveness of water as a means of concealing evidence and thwarting investigative efforts. With little to no trace left behind, the perpetrator is afforded a cloak of anonymity, evading detection and eluding justice with each successive act of violence. But what drives someone to commit such heinous acts leaving behind a trail of devastation and despair. Is it a desire for power, control, or something even more sinister? The frequency and proximity of these tragic deaths only serve to deepen the sense of unease and apprehension gripping the community. From April 2022 to May 2023, a total of 16 bodies, 10 men and 6 women, were recovered from the waters of the Chicago River and Lake Michigan, sending shockwaves through the city and its surrounding suburbs. The clustering of deaths within short timeframes, as observed by Walder, served as a grim reminder of the urgency and gravity of the situation as law enforcement agencies scrambled to decipher the cryptic messages left behind by a cunning and elusive adversary. As the FBI and the Chicago Police Department join forces to tackle this escalating crisis, they confront the challenge of deciphering the cryptic messages left behind by a cunning and elusive adversary. With each passing day, 
fear looms more prominent over the city as residents grapple with the unsettling realization that a predator may be creeping into their midst. Can law enforcement agencies piece together the puzzle before another life is claimed by the murky depths of the river? Will they uncover the truth in time to prevent further tragedy? The tragic toll of lives lost to these murky waters continues to mount, with each discovery adding another layer of grief and anguish to the community. From Noah Enos to Richard Garcia, each victim leaves behind a trail of shattered dreams and unanswered questions, their untimely death serving as a grim reminder of the fragility of life. As loved ones mourn their loss and struggle to make sense of the inexplicable, they cling to the hope that justice will eventually be served. But in a city gripped by fear and uncertainty, that hope remains elusive, overshadowed by the looming specter of a serial killer at large. Will the truth be uncovered, or will the Chicago River and Lake Michigan waters continue to guard their dark secrets? What will it take for justice to prevail, and for the families of the victims to find closure? Despite the tireless efforts of law enforcement and the dogged pursuit of justice, the truth behind these tragic deaths remained elusive. The community was left grappling with unanswered questions and unrelenting grief, haunted by the specter of a serial killer at large. As the city of Chicago grappled with the chilling reality of a predator stalking its streets, the waters of the Chicago River and Lake Michigan continued to guard their dark secrets, leaving a trail of devastation and despair in their wake. The recovery of 46-year-old Richard Garcia from the Chicago River on April 13, 2023, marked one of the most suspicious incidents authorities were investigating. Found near the Columbus Drive Bridge, Garcia's death raised numerous questions, adding to the growing list of unresolved mysteries plaguing the city. As law enforcement agencies collaborated in their efforts to unravel the truth behind those drownings, the community remained on edge, grappling with the chilling possibility that a serial killer may be operating within their midst. The FedEx employee was still wearing his uniform when authorities recovered him, according to his loved ones. He'd been reported missing from his home on the city's south side in March. His cause and manner of death were still pending, the Cook County Medical Examiner's officer told the Post. Not all 16 bodies pulled out of Chicago land water in 2022 and 2023 have had suspicious circumstances. In April last year, two women were found in separate parts of the Chicago River within just an hour of one another. Only a few weeks later, another female body was pulled from the same waterway. Chicago police have not commented on whether there was a link between the bodies. However, according to Ms. Walder, who spoke to the New York Post, serial killers will tend to follow a pattern, and using water as a means of hiding a body is effective. Forensic evidence is going to be, for the most part, non-existent, making it the ideal crime, she said. By the end of December 2022, local outlets reported that the FBI and the Chicago Police Department were working together to solve the series of drowning deaths. Walder also highlighted a cluster of deaths, when multiple incidents occur in a small window of time, as indicative of something more going on. Kathleen Martin died tragically from drowning in March 2022. In April 2022, an anonymous man and woman were killed under identical circumstances, although their causes of death were unknown. Another mysterious lady joined their ranks in May 2023, adding to these instances of intrigue. Yuet Sang drowned in April 2022, while Karina Peña Alanis' death was deemed a suicide. Natalie Brookson's cause of death was unknown as of May 2022, while Daniel Sotelo drowned. Haywood Brown died in an accidental drowning in June 2022, followed by Peter Salvino, Christoph Schubert and Anthony Rucker in December 2022 and February 2023, all of whom committed suicide. Joel Orduno drowned in March 2023, while, while Seamus Gray and Richard Garcia died in April 2023, with Garcia's cause of death still being investigated. Noah Enos joined this sad list in June 2023, waiting for a definitive cause of death. Insights from law enforcement authorities, forensic professionals and psychiatrists provide useful insights on the complexity involved in situations like these, as well as throw light on suspected perpetrator psychological profiles. Law enforcement authorities emphasize the painstaking nature of their investigations, noting the difficulties in piecing together evidence in situations when forensic traces are scant. They emphasize the significance of collaboration between agencies and the community, and they want anybody with knowledge to come forward to help them solve these mysteries. Forensic specialists investigate the particular issues offered by remains recovered from water, where decomposition processes might hide crucial information. They examine procedures for extracting evidence from submerged remains, including as forensic anthropology and DNA analysis, emphasizing the need of multidisciplinary approaches in revealing the truth. 
Psychologists offer insights into the potential psychological profiles of perpetrators who target victims in or around bodies of water. They discuss the concept of aquatic serial killers, individuals who derive pleasure or a sense of power from the act of drowning their victims. These individuals may exhibit traits such as a lack of empathy, a desire for control, and a history of violence or trauma. The upsetting chain of events surrounding the discovery of 16 bodies in the waters of the Chicago River and Lake Michigan has left a community paralyzed with fear and confusion. The potential of a serial murderer operating in their neighborhood has cast a gloomy shadow over the city, leaving locals with unanswered concerns and unsolved anguish. Despite the diligent efforts of law enforcement and the steadfast support of the community, the truth about these awful deaths remains unknown. As we think about the lives lost and the families destroyed by this wave of terror, we're reminded of the fragility of life and the need to pursue justice for those who have died too young. We now encourage you to join us in this investigation. Your views, observations and opinions might be critical in determining the truth about these awful occurrences. Please share your views in the comment section below and let's go deeper into this unnerving enigma. Your involvement might help shed light on Chicago's darkness, taking us one step closer to justice for the victims and closure for their families. So, don't be afraid to share your ideas and beliefs as we begin this trip together. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Smash the bell icon to stay updated. See you in the following video. Thank you for watching.